are going to find crow toes. So you're welcome to drop down back into this Molossina squat while I demo. And if what I'm demo demoing is not your style, you're welcome to just stay here or you can sit on your block. So we've obviously been working our way up to crow finding these drinking birds. So bringing the heart down towards the earth, bringing the hands down to the mat. There are three things that you need to keep in mind doing crow. The first is that we are gonna be bringing all of our weight into our hands. The second is that our arms are going to be at a 90 degree angle. In um, yoga, we call these chaturanga arms. And then the third is that our knees are going to make contact with our triceps. So I know that's a lot, and this is definitely a posture that takes a lot of practice and time, but I just wanted to give you a quick quick little um, glimpse into it today. So if you want to try it with me, bringing your hands to the earth, making contact with those triceps, and then slowly shifting forward. Maybe you play with lifting one foot and then the other. rocking back and forth. Like I said, this is a very advanced posture that takes a lot of practice. So just kind of playing around with it. And whenever you get it, let me know. Send me a picture. I'd love to see it. We will meet back in chair pose. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. You're welcome to flow through one last vinyasa, or you can just meet me in child's pose.